hey welcome back youtube uh, i haven't did a video in a while this one is for a diagnostic for a 2015 ram um i bought this truck recently some issues that you may face with this truck is for the emissions now i've got two codes that i had to deal with so far since i got it that's a u059f and uh, the other code I don't really remember right now. I will post that. Uh, I'll put that on, on the video so you can see it. Now, for the first code, was for the Nox sensor. It was impossible. I heard, I seen a lot of um, videos online saying that when they brought it to the dealership, they had to, um, change the SCR and the sensor but I think a lot of them dealerships are just trying to just trying to get you so all I did to fix that code was remove the sensor that's right here I'm gonna try and get a better view hold on okay so uh, this is a knock sensor right here this one right here So it's like a it's like an oxygen sensor. You just gotta turn it, take it out of the the pipe for the muffler, and let me show you. You may gotta disconnect this right here. Once you remove those two pieces, it will come down. And that will fix your error code. Don't don't go to the dealership and let them tell you that you need a new replacement of this. Because you really don't. That, that thing is solid. Yeah, so don't let them tell you to change it when there's nothing wrong with it. Before you do it, change that sensor. And don't buy the cheap sensor either because the code will come right back. I got my uh, sensor from... Mopar directly. I think I paid like 300 for it, so something like that. It's worth getting the original sensor. I will still regret it. All right, on to the next code. All right, guys, so the next code that I had to deal with was for the EGR. So it was throwing the code that the EGR was malfunctioning, all kind of stupid stuff was going on now what I did was I looked at this unit right here and I noticed that the, the, the timing was a bit off so all I did was adjusted these two knobs right here or I don't know what you call it the, the two nuts back to how it was from the factory and I fixed it. Check engine light went away instantaneously. Because this, this thing controls the EGR, or does something with the EGR. It's on the same pipe. It does something with it. So if you have a check engine light code, just make sure that this is just like this. Once it is, the, that that check engine light it should go away. I don't remember the check in the, the the DTC code, but I will post it so you guys can see it. And uh, if you guys know what this is, I got it on the truck. I'm not sure what it is. If you do know, uh, please uh, inform me. I'm not really sure what this is for. That's it. That is it, my friends. I'll be back with more um, fixes to your everyday issues for the Ram trucks.